Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0 AGI. I'm here to do a, a sh very short video of uh, this M1101 trailer. And I'm here to, the, the weather is finally really good. Uh, it's spring here in uh, Minnesota. And um, looking forward to using this trailer uh, at least a little bit this season and uh, taking uh, it on a couple of trailer uh, trails and such and some camping uh, etc so anyway so that's uh, that comes later but first um, I need to uh, convert the the tail lights to um, 12 volts and that's what I'm here to do um, I had this Harbor Freight uh, turn and uh, brake lights contraption I had used when I was hauling this trailer from uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, you must have seen my previous videos on that. But anyways, I'm gonna remove this and get this converted. Uh, another change I will need to make is the the adapter. Now this is the adapter, the harness that comes with the trailer. This is a, a mill grade, obviously, uh, as you can tell, and it's got these uh, multi-pin adapter uh, that's uh, wired up with the trailer. I've seen people, uh, you know, cut the the cable here and custom wire to fit your civilian um, tailgate. Uh, wiring harness but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to save this and use this I uh, use this as is without having to break apart anything that exists with the trailer I want to I want to retain as much as I can so it's just a historical uh, thing for me at least in my mind I would love to keep the stuff as is with uh, this trailer um, who knows maybe in five ten years the, this might have a story um, but uh, with that said I'm gonna repurpose this or keep it as is and then uh, use a an adapter I had purchased on eBay that will take care of uh, plugging itself into this harness and then the other end goes to my Jeep all right, so that'll be part two of this uh, same video, actually, just a different section. So let me first get started with the um, the tail lamps, uh, just to g give you guys a quick um, long shot of the trailer. I bet you've seen my previous videos, um, but if not, um, just want to give you a quick view of it. Um, it's quite a few. Um, um, lightings on this trailer um, there's one here um, there's some here all around but what we are concerned about is replacing this and uh, get it to work with the 12 volt all right with that let me um, quickly show you what I have here so I got this um, last fall and uh, got uh, two sets of these lights, uh, bulbs rather. These are LED, 12 volt LED lights or uh, bulbs that go in here. Uh, so we need to replace what's in there, the 24 volt bulbs with these. Uh, so I got two sets of those for the two. Uh, tail lamps and this is the adapter I was telling you about that'll plug into give me a quick second so this plugs into that adapter I showed you in the front the harness and the other end has a civilian tailgate wiring adapter so it's fairly should be fairly plug-and-play style uh, so we'll get to that in our section number two but step number one let's get these installed by the way I got this adapter 
from this uh, gentleman here on eBay if you guys are interested these are not cheap um, because well for one they are made really well and um, I mean you could make this yourself but um, but if someone's already done it and if you were to be spending same kind of money building it yourself might as well just uh, buy it from someone who's done that previously so anyways all right so with that let's get started in replacing the bulbs with these guys and go from there so uh, these screws are just a uh, flathead screwdriver screws I'm gonna get that taken out and I'll come back in a minute okay so I took that out um, and the case just pops out uh, these screws here are are secured uh, in place I believe they have some sort of a stopper in here like that so um, anyway so that's that let's put that aside and just quickly walk through here so these are LEDs these work on 12 volts I think they might work just a little bit dimmer uh, I might end up changing the resistor at some point in time but I think this should work just as is with the 12 volt um, same thing with these um, you could end up changing the resistor value to to match the 12 volt uh, input to make them look brighter but I think with 12 volts it'll probably be half as bright um, and here's a two 24 volt bulbs that I will be replacing um, as you can tell I man just to you might have seen this already but in my previous video as you can tell these are fairly watertight wiring harnesses inside the casing um, which is pretty good to see I and mean, they are mill mill grade and they are made really well okay one thing you must have noticed already this is uh, the factory default color the camel green color and they do the after um, factory make stage they paint it with uh, whatever color um, the manufacturing uh, order was for anyway so let me get these two replaced and actually let's go over here pick up these two bulbs so I got two sets of these one set goes in here and the other set goes on the other side of the tail um, so let me get this wrap packet opened up and we'll work on replacing these okay so here are the two bulbs um, the LED bulbs and uh, we'll get the the top one the top one is a smaller one let's get that replaced This thing just pops up, pops out, and I think there's some sort of a, this looks to me like it's, oh, it's, uh, maybe it's a, it's got some weird grease material on it. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, must be, must be conductible material of some kind. But uh, let's see if I can go grab some. Oh, I'll be right back okay just uh, gently wiped it um, wiped the housing and then uh, just popped it in there I could clean up a little bit more but let me see if I can get it to work without taking too much of, of that uh, greasy material and let's replace the big one Here's a big one. The big one also has the same kind of material on it. Um, all right, let's put that aside. Let's take the, the bigger LED and let's put that in there. Huh. That's a uh, taking some extra here let me I'll be right back I need two hands for this okay so I got that in there um, before I put the 
the casing back the cover back on I'll do some testing make sure it works before I do that so let me walk on to this other side and uh, do the same thing last season I started to doing it but I didn't uh, go ahead with it because for one I didn't have the right LED replacements and number two there wasn't any way for me to do some testing after replacing the bulb so thought I would uh, might as well just wait till spring so here we are I'm gonna replace the this one too right now and I'll go from there well that's done too it shouldn't take more than a minute or so but uh, anyways so that's that and that's the other side of it um, and I need to take these out and then get rid of this one well not get rid of but put away for something else I bet there's something else okay well let me work on this adapter and we'll get this going and come back and so this goes like so we need to take this take this uh, latch out and then plug this guy in you know I would love to at some point in time get this mounted permanently on my Jeep uh, let me show you what I mean so something like that um, on my Jeep um, or over here or somewhere I don't know uh, for now we'll just get it plugged in do some testing and uh, go from there all right okay so brake lights are on and it's got a nice red bright red um, lumens to it. It's not that bright actually if you think about it, but hey, it should work just fine. So I know the camera is showing the, the bright red color well enough, but uh, it's fairly bright. Here's the other side. All of those many LEDs seem to be working fine. So, okay, so now let's uh, go in here, take the brake out, turn the the left turn signal so left is working that's the jeeps okay let's do the right work I'm not sure what the deal is with that I wonder if there's a different I need to take a look at that and see what's going on with those okay so seems to be working fine um, I haven't seen the top ones work either so I'm not sure what the deal is with that Okay, all right, so I'm not sure uh, why these top ones are, what these top ones are for. 
I think they were supposed to be for break. Um, let's try the emergency lights. So the bottom two bulbs are working just fine. I'm not sure what the deal is with the top ones. Okay, I'll do some more research on that and I'll be back. But I'll get this covered up uh, with the covers here. And I think we'll call it done minus the what's going on with these other lights and I believe they should st still work at least at half a uh, brightness but I'll look into that and then of course the top LED as to why that's not working okay well thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon